Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to install Kali Linux in my Android, which is not rooted. And we are going to run basic commands such as nmap and we are going to ping few websites. So let's begin. Okay. So uh, we are going to install uh, Kali Linux net handler in our Android and uh, we are going to follow the official documentation. So to search the documentation, just type nethunter rootless. So if we go here, it's the official documentation. If we scroll a little below, so it has shown the Kali Linux, how it's installed and this is how it's going to look like. Now uh, for installation, we have to install the NetHunter uh, store app from store.nethunter.com. So let's do that. After installing that app, we are going to install Termax, NetHunter Kex client and Hackers key keyboard. So we are going to use our own keyboard itself. So let's install our store. Click on download, download anyway. Let's check it. So it's downloaded. Now let's install this. Let's open this app. And now from here, we have to install Termax and NetHunter Cax. So let's search for that. Search Termax and click install. It's downloading the Termax. It's going to take some time to download it. So let's wait till then. Now we have to give the permission to NetHunter store to install apps. So let's give the give this permission. Uh, let's click on allow this source and click on I am aware. And now let's wait for a few seconds. And now we can click on OK. So it has got permission to install. Let's go back and let's click, click install. So Termax is successfully installed. Let's cancel the scanning. Let's go back. Now we have to install NetHunter Kex. And click on download it's small app it's not going to take lot of time to install okay, click on install so now we have installed our uh, termax and net under kex now let's go back to our documentation Once these are installed, now we have to set up the storage in our Termax and then we are going to install WCAT. So let's set up our storage. We can directly copy this command and let's open our Termax. Here we can paste that command and hit enter. Now we are going to allow and give the permissions. Now let's again move back to our documentation. Next step is to install wget. Let's copy this. And paste it here. Let's zoom it out a little bit. While it's installing, let's copy the next command. Next is wget and this is going to download the source which is going to install our uh, NetHunter. So let's copy this and again go here. Now click on Y and give the permission to install with wget. So, delegate is installed. Now let's install that package. 
enter now let's uh, we have to give it the execute command to this we can do it by typing and what's the file name it's install and now we have just have, we have to type this, uh, dot forward slash install and hit enter it's going to download a zipped version of NetHunter and then it's going to extract it and install it. It takes around 10 to 15 minutes to, to do that. So I'm going to uh, fast forward the video till then. So let's wait for that. If you get any message, you have to select Y uh, and give it permission to install. So now our file is successfully downloaded. Now it's going to verify it and now it's extracting our file and it, it takes a few minutes to extract it. So please wait for that time. So our file is properly extracted. Now let's click on Y and delete, uh, delete the storage. So our Kali NetHunter for Termax is installed successfully. So now if we want to use the NetHunter uh, directly in our Termax, we can just type nh or nethunter. We can use the Kali Linux terminal directly in our Termex. Uh, now we have to run the graphical user interface. For that, let's let exit this. And we have to set the kex password. nethunter kex. Here we have to select a six word password. So let me set that. Uh, here I can select it as no and we have successfully set our NetHunter KEX password. Now let's start our VNC server to connect to NetHunter KEX app. To do that we have to type NetHunter KEX and, and hit enter. It's going to give error. You can ignore those. Let's wait till our server starts. Now our uh, Kex server session is started. Now let's open our Kex app. And click allow. Now here we have to select our BNC password. I have select set a default password only and click on connect. So we have successfully installed Kali Linux in our Android. So now let's open our terminal and try to type few commands. First of all, we are going to enable the extra keys. So let's do that. Now we are going to open our terminal. Let's go to our terminal and now let's try to nmap a few websites. Let's try to nmap kali.org. Let's open our keyboard and type nmap kali.org. Hit enter a little bit laggy and it's going to take some time to get comfortable with it uh, but it's working so let's wait uh, till the map results so it has successfully unmapped Kali and it has it has shown the open ports now if we go here and you can see all the available applications by using this you can uh, use it like a full-fledged Kali Linux in upcoming videos we will try to do that so that's all for this video. I hope you like this. If you like it, you can hit that like button. If you don't, you can hit that dislike button. For future videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.